our trip to the Everglades National Park. We're gonna go to Billy's Swamp Safari and stay overnight in an old-fashioned chicky hut that, like the Seminoles lived in. Um, we had about a two-hour drive, so we're starting now. <laughs> and hopefully we'll know a little bit more later about the background of this place and the Seminoles' life. So far our drive has taken many casualties. <laughs> we're getting closer to the swamp, and no, that's not rain. Those are bug guts. Disgusting. See if we can see any coming at us. No, we can't. The bugs are horrible. Getting closer to the uh, to the alligator park. Bugs are all over the place. You can smell the smoke from the from the fires. I guess that are in Georgia. I thought it was just uh, haze, but sure is right. It's smoke. Here comes Princess I'm afraid of Brugs. I tried cleaning the windshield as best I could. I think that looks pretty good. It's a lot better than, than what it was there before. There's 260 active wildfires in Florida right now. You know, I can smell it, and you know what, you were right. But I think it's I think it's a combination of the smoke and the weather. Okay. Yeah, 260 wildfires wouldn't do it on its own. Okay, I'm getting in the park quickly. I'm afraid of bugs. Here we are, Billy's Swamp Safari. Made it in perfect time. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a wrap. <laughs> All right, we finally made it to Billy's Swamp Safari after a couple hour drive. Here it is. Here's my co-anchor, Frank. Why don't you go stand by the big Indian? I don't know. Hug him or something. Oh, Be <laughs> Become one with the Seminoles. <laughs> Is that all you got? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> Alright, very good. Billy Swamp. <laughs> I'm being attacked by bugs. I have to get back in the car. What's he doing? It's a dirt bike track. We're being attacked by bugs. That's awesome. There's bugs in my hair and stuff. I think we made a lot better time than the two hours. We left at 11.40. We got here at 1.40. But we wasted a little time too. Here we are. No pets. I guess you'll have to park stand to the left. Park to the left. Yeah. Oh, it says no parking. <laughs> it's weird. Oh, look. There's the swamp. One of the swamp buggies. Very cool. Wow. Well, that's what I call jacked up tires. This is kind of cool. Well, that Mustang looks familiar. Maybe that's yours. Is that a Seminole a right there? It's a park ranger. Is that a Seminole? I guess we'll park here. Oh, look at that big swamp buggy. Everybody's plastered with bugs. Check out the front of that car. Oh, God. Nice. Oh, look at the gooses. They, they say I bite. Hello. Okay, come on. Let's go to our chicken. This is where we'll be staying for the night. Nice. Oh, there's a screen on it. Oh, how cute! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Looks like we'll be sleeping in twin beds tonight. We always do. Yes, we do. We never sleep together. Look at this. This is cute. This reminds me of camp. Totally camp. Yeah, it does. 
beds are nice. I think this will work. Very nice. I'll let you set up. What do you think? <laughs> I feel like I'm in the Congo. Yes. Maybe not the Congo. Yeah. Like shower curtains for curtains. I like it. It's very nice. Very good. I just feel I almost expected the screens. Yeah, that's... We'd be eaten alive otherwise. Yeah, I think so. Pretty cool. A fire extinguisher in case. Any flames happen tonight? Very nice. Very cool. A little trunk. Here's our lantern. Yeah, we'll be we'll be seeing via candlelight tonight. We're gonna look at some snakes. Scary. You don't have tickets for a snake show? Alright, let's have a look at the stage here. Powerful venom, but it's not our deadliest snake. It's called the coral snakes. The reason why it's not our deadliest snake is simply because bites are very rare. That's it. That's the only reason why. Bites are rare for several reasons. Number one, the snake, although common, is not a snake you're going to see all the time. They're very shy, they're very secretive, they're always hiding. So you don't come into contact with those and that. They're already an adult. So that's a relatively large adult. Can they get a little bigger than that? Yes, they can. Record size is 31 inches for a, for a big rattlesnake, okay? Now it is a rattlesnake. In fact, it is rattling the tail right now. Can you really hear it? You may be able to see the rattle go. But even at this distance, I have a hard time hearing that rattle. You have to be next to the snake to hear it perfectly. And uh, that's for the reason I did it when I first pulled it out. To set the show snakes this morning. See, the snakes don't live in the boxes. We put them in the boxes, bring them to the show, then they go back in their cages. But uh, when I pull it out to put it in the box, looking at me. Mm. But right now, it mm. doesn't feel like it needs to do so. For some reason, the snake just doesn't want to cooperate with me right now. It usually doesn't waste one second for striking. I have no idea why it hasn't even struck. Well, anyway, take my word for it. You see a snake that looks anything like this, pop that mouth on What you want to do is, to sense that you're going to hear it, and then see it. Make sure you know where the snake is, because you're looking at it. But if you run or do something, you could run and right into the snake and get struck. They can strike very fast, and all it takes Guys, look at the size of these heads. This is Florida's deadliest snake here. Most snake deaths, as far as native snakes go, are caused by diamond by bites. Simply because of the sheer amount of venom the snake can give you. It's amazing. All you need to die from that snake biting you, without any treatment, in about 24 hours, should be about 20 drops of venom. That should kill you. Now, that snake there could give you 60, maybe 80 drops of venom in a bad bite. And the snakes regulate how much venom they give in a bite. It could be as much as they can, or it could be nothing, a dry bite. And then again, anything in between. And usually the amount of venom given in a bite is directly proportional to the level of aggravation the snake will avoid. So if you're chopping the snake into pieces with a shovel or a machete, and he gets a hold of you, get ready, because it's going to be a good one. If you're just walking by, don't see the snake, go right in front of it, and you startle it, and the snake gives you that leave me alone kind of bite, it could be a dry bite or a small yield of venom. Enough to send you jumping in pain, enough to ruin it for you, but Here, not really. What do you really think about the, uh, the snake exhibit? It's okay. I don't like snakes very much, but the, the one at the end was cool because he was bigger. I don't know what he was that I forgot. The cotton mouth, I think. No, the, the, uh, the rattlesnake. The rattlesnake. Yeah, it was pretty neat. Yeah. And we're going to go on an airboat ride here in a minute. Try to pet him, Sherry. He's so cute. No, don't he'll bite you. Oh. He went, he went and made him mad. Don't harass the, the animals. He's good. It's tough. What do we have here? Let's have a look at this. I'm not sure what it is, but. Seems to be some kind of fish and fire. It looks delicious. Are you going to cook it for us? Let's eat something. <laughs> I guess this is a storytelling uh, story area. 
Are you going to tell stories? I have no stories to tell. That fire's hot. I'm not in the mood for sushi right now. Swamp boat ride in the Everglades in Florida. We're gonna see some swamp duties. <laughs> You're gonna eat them. <laughs> Let's see, maybe we'll see some of these kind of fish. Let's see what we got over here. All kinds of fish to see. In fact, there's some right in here. Let's see if we can see them. There. All right, I got my earplugs in. Oh yeah. So I'm all set. <laughs> so I don't lose any hearing at all. <laughs> That's disgusting. You're gonna have to put These are in yours. Here. No, they're not. They're <laughs> they're yours. Yours. All right, here it is. Here it is. We're sitting in the front. Frank's got his earplugs already in, like a big nerd. Huh? <laughs> Here's what we got out here. Let's get a picture. Birds are gonna get chopped up. There's some more chickies. It's not. I don't think that's where we're staying now. On the water, we're over there. Something about the front row that I forgot to mention. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks yeah, for that. Right now. No, no. <laughs> I think we can do that. <laughs> I look at this guy. Yeah, if you guys want to stand up, take pictures of your arms. Feel free to do so. For sure. I want you to. Cool. Oh. Yeah, he's ready for dinner. Look at that. Okay. Oh. I see one! Oh. He's coming for more. Well, oh yeah, you. we don't feed alligators, by the way. Look at oh, you, guy. We only feed birds, turtles, fish, and raccoons. It's illegal to feed them. Oh we would never do that. <laughs> Actually, oh. running from him. He is? Oh my. Yeah, I would too, buddy. They eat each other sometimes. Really? Yeah. Oh my. Here, get next to that. No, th no thank you. <laughs> you put your head next to him. Uh-huh. Can you see it? Whatever we do. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Mm-hmm. Man, I never saw them that close. Of course, you know, if you can imagine having 60 little ones, most sure. of them getting their little, they're only born about that long. They just why they eat by, by fish. Turtles, hawks, snakes. So I, I say she has 40. Out of those 40, probably two will make it to adulthood. I see. Because even though that little one's little, that, like I said, alligators also will eat other alligators. I see. Now, once he, his size right here, the only thing he has to fear this one is is getting eaten by a larger alligator or you know dying in, in the environments. I see. He won't get hunted because he's too small. <gasps> yeah, buddy, I'd move too. <laughs> Uh, his, the turtle's head would be nice and nice and yummy. This is pretty in here. What kind of trees are these? 
Well, we've got a couple different type of trees in here. You have the cypress trees, which are the ones right here with the greatest smooth bark on it. You got your pop ash trees, which are kind of here over to our left. Pop ash? Pop ash. Oh. <laughs> trees. Pop ash. You gotta be careful sometimes when I say that word like just now. <laughs> What kind of engine that thing got on it? It's a V8, I guess. Automatic engine V8. Yeah. And all it does is you just turn the wind one way or the other with that lever. Yeah. It's cool. It's pretty cool. I wonder if it's anything like driving a boat. I don't know. I would imagine like. If you're slowing down and you don't have any thrust, like how do you turn? Well, kind of like a boat, like a rudder, you have to give it a second before it starts turning really, you know? Yeah. You just don't want a dead lift. It's not good for the engine plus for sinking. I see. What kind of engine is that? 502 Chevrolet. Big block. Nice. Oh my gosh, there's a Chewbacca. Child is coming to ruin our nature hike. <laughs> it looks like where an alligator would have been and sunk down. Yeah. Did you hear him breathing? Yeah. Does it really light me up? Yeah. Oh, it's freaking bright. <laughs> Here we are inside of our chicky hut. This is the only light source that we have, our lantern, other than the light on the camera. We have all the shades drawn, which consist of shower curtains. <laughs> But it does have an exit sign. Uh, yes, but we will uh, know where to go in case of an emergency. A yes, bear attack. Detector. Yes, smoke detector. And this is Frank. He's relaxing after his swamp buggy ride. That was awesome. We, tell, tell the people what we saw. The people. 
people that people watch People out there in TV land. <laughs> we uh, rode on the big swamp buggy. And we, uh, Sherry and I got to shoot the spotlight into the field. And we saw a deer and a bison that we came up on. And warthog. And <laughs> possums and a raccoon. And bunnies. Bunnies. We saw a bunch of stuff. It was pretty neat. I didn't see any any um, Florida panthers though. No. Oh, this is our roof. Let's see if we can get a shot of the roof. Well, you can't really see that, but it's the thatched roof. I really didn't want to. Are you gonna pee? He's still out there. Did you hear him? Mm-hmm. in that cup. <laughs> You are out here, but you better get away. You hear me, little possum? You get the keys? Yeah. You can't take that with us. There you go. Oh my god, look at that face. Well, even though those raccoons were gigantic last night. And the possum basically tried to rip off the front door. We survived. <laughs> Trip to the bathroom, and well, I don't really want to talk about it, but <laughs> everything's good now. So we're on our way to breakfast, which I can't wait for because I'm about to pass out. Because <laughs> I think my blood sugar is about 33. Um, that's about it. Oops. <laughs> so it's a beautiful day. <laughs> well, I'm feeling better. I have my chocolate milk. My chef's, my chef's omelet is on the way. <laughs> what are we going to do now? We're going to go on the daytime buggy. Yeah, hopefully we won't have those crazy girls with us. Yeah, it was a little annoying. 
And I wonder if we're going to see the, the maimed ostrich. Oh, I hope not. I hope not either. I heard, I heard some screams last night. Some animal screams. Yes. And they almost resembled people's screams. No, they didn't. And that made me want to poop. <laughs> Great. I'm glad we're in the same place. This is the outside. Maybe we look out there. This is the little restaurant we eat in. He is big. Strange behaviors from alligators. Look at those teeth. Yeah. Like an air rush of air. They um, when they're aggravated, they'll blow bubbles out of their eyes. We look angry. This other guy looks angry. Buggy ride we're going on. Look at his ear. Now the bird there that just took off the wings is open. It's called the Anhinga. It's a diving bird. It actually fishes under the water. Some people call it the water turkey of the snake bird. They can't know why it's so on it. They can't even swim underwater once it gets wet. Guys, once you get up, move around, and take pictures, it's okay. You don't have to sit back there. You can wherever you want. It's all right. Let's see if it'll start then. Hmm. We're in luck. Alright, let's back it up. Woo! Well, actually, what happened with Shaky? Shaky lost her mom at about two weeks old. That uh, milk they get the serum for the antibiotics and this, you know, all that system. She didn't get it. And what they did, they raised it from a bottle and tried that and she'd come out that way. Okay. <laughs> what is he doing? He's practicing. He's trying to intimidate you. Now look at the front of his leg. See the front part of his leg? Right now they're not too bad. Kind of medium. Medium rare. Well, the front part of the legs get blood, solid red, and the neck, and the beak. You're in deep, deep trouble. They can be very, very dangerous. They've been known to take the beak and crush a man's skull. What? The cow kick, they disembowel lions over in Africa where they're originally from. Okay, right now I'd say he's pretty, pretty male. But when the neck swells up to about eight or ten inches in diameter, it turns the color of this life preserver up here. What is he doing? Is he catching bugs? He must be. Look at that. It would be a hard stop. thing to innovate. He's 
He's eating bugs? No, I think he's just practicing the bite. Oh. <laughs> Preoccupied with something, what it is. Most time he runs out of the buggy and starts biting. <laughs> He's crazy. He's confused. Yes. <laughs> Maybe he thinks we're a large female ostrich. Hmm? Maybe he thinks his bus is a female ostrich. What you'd be thinking? <laughs> That's what he's thinking. That's what he's thinking. Yeah, he's Not too strong, I'm going to be out looking. I think he's been drinking. That's funny that he's doing that. What are you saying? Oh, he's looking right at the... He sees the reflection of himself. I don't know what he's looking at. Yeah, it'd be hard to breathe like that. Up here to the left, we have the cypher deer. They're from Asia, Southeast Asia. We got a big male turkey coming up. One, two of them coming up over here. This is the Osceola turkey. It's supposed to be the largest, the smartest, and most colorful of all turkeys. All right, let's go. Is that one rolling? He's rolling again. How did they do that? Lots of little babies. Hi. Have little horns. Hi. Hi. Big one over there. Yeah. yeah. The bird's like, you're too tall. So that was a little high. It looks like to me that bird's eating those little bugs you saw. You know, yes, there are some of those. You're a big guy. 